Anna Maringer, Heidelberg University. Drug transport across the blood-brain barrier. Well, good afternoon. I'm a member of the research group of Professor Gerd Fricke at the University of Heidelberg, and um, our research is focused on the development of nanotechnology-based drug delivery systems like liposomes and nanoparticles and nanospheres, and with the aim to overcome the blood-brain barrier for an efficient treatment of CNS diseases. So our cerebrovascular system um, separates the brain from the blood compartment and protects it from bacteria or toxical met metabolites that are occurring in the blood compartment. However, on the other side, it still means a major obstacle towards the effective treatment with CNS diseases. And this is partly due to the presence of tight junctions or, oops, excuse me, can I go back? Yeah. Um, tight junctions are reflux transporters that are expressed and that remove compounds from the brain to the blood compartment and which still results in a poor clinical outcome of many newly developed and promising chemical entities. So that's why we are trying to modify the surface. Can I go back again, please? Yeah, um, that's why we are trying to modify the surface of those um, nanoparticulate systems, either via the attachment of antibodies or penetrating peptides, or via the coverage with distinct surfactants, or via the modification of their surface charges and with a purpose to enable those nano-delivery systems to either selectively recognize receptors that are expressed at the blood-brain barrier or to specifically bind to negatively charged phospholipids in the, endothel <coughs> in the endothelial membrane. Um, so, which usually leads to a uh, more efficient pharmacological effect. Next slide, please. Yeah, could you please click four times through? Thanks. Um, so far, and in particular, we have been able to show that once liposomes are produced via a dual asymmetric centrifugation method, or that polybutylocyanoaculate nanoparticles are produced via a solvent evaporation method, that um, after their zeta potential and a narrow particle size distribution had been determined, that cationized liposomes and surface-coated nanoparticles, they are taken up either via an adsorptive <coughs> or receptor-mediated transcytotic mechanism. And um, in particular, we have now been able to achieve a 3 to 16-fold accumulation in the brain if compared to a single drug solution after intravenous administration. And um, without having had any evidence for toxic or acute inflammatory effects in rats in the human blood samples, which is due to the biodegradability of our tested materials, except having a slight opening of the blood-brain barrier, which is temporary and reversible as yet. So this means that the surface modification with target-seeking ligands of our nanocarrier systems, this is an essential approach to effectively increase the permeation of um, CNS compounds across the blood-brain barrier. Thank you very much.